Reviews and today I'm bringing you a new unboxing. This is for a new Australian book subscription box. It's called the YA Chronicle. It's $40 in total but that includes a $10 shipping. They do ship internationally but for Australians if you want it left at your door and not get carded you need to let them know in the notes when you pay for it otherwise you have to go to the post office. <laughs> it contains one new release book and two to five bookish items. This is actually the first box that they've released so this is their launch box. It is a monthly subscription box too. They are actually themed and for the life of me I cannot remember what this one is meant to be themed as. The October box is now on release and you can order that and the theme is time and time again so there'll be a, a link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Of course they've got Instagram and everything and if you're getting one of these please share it because they think they want to really know what people perceive of their boxes. Time to cut it open. I will let you guys see it first because I honestly don't know what to expect in here. And then on the inside it looks like this. Okay, let's have a look. So I'm going to look at the card first, so this will tell us what the theme is. Oh, that's what it is. I can't believe I forgot it. It's called That Hero Nonsense. That's the theme. And so I really like the design. To be perfectly honest, I really do like it. I like the colours. I just I like the font that they're using. I just really like it. It's really nice. Um, what's in the box? So it tells us about the book. And there was one of three pendants to get. There was one of five possible USB superheroes to get. Let's actually have a look at this though. So, the important part first. Oh, it's a hardcover book too. So this is the book I got. It's called The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Now, his name sounds familiar to me, but I have to be honest, I don't know anything about him. He may be someone that you know about. Leave me a comment if you know of any other work that he's done. Um, but essentially, I have no idea. <laughs> um, on the back it says, not everyone has to be the chosen one. Kind of sounds interesting then. Um, the blurb. Let's check out the blurb. So it says, the one who's supposed to fight the zombies, or the soul-eating ghosts, or whatever the new thing is, with the blue lights and the death. What if you were Mikey, who just wants to graduate and go to prom before someone goes and blows up the high school? Again. What if there was problems bigger than this week's end of the world and you just have to find the extraordinary in your ordinary life, even if your best friend might be the god of mountain lions? That sounds interesting. I like the cover. I love the fact that YA chose a hardcover book to put into it. I don't have a lot of those. I'm definitely going to have to review this for you guys. I usually put my reviews on Instagram. I don't have a good reads account. I'm not there yet, I don't think. I've only just started a bookstagram kind of stuff, so I think I'll just stick to reviewing my books on Instagram for now. Of course, you'll find my link to my Instagram down below. <laughs> Other goodies that are in here. We have, we have a free digital download of this book. Um, Ethan Elliott is no stranger to secret identities. As an LGBT teen, he has dealt with the secrets of all of his life. Nevertheless, when his powers kick in and his wisdom way to join a team of superheroes, he dons a mask of different kind, one that sees him battling supervillains and testing his limits. However, there's more going on behind the scenes than capes and costumes. At the headquarters of the Protectorate, he makes unlikely friends with Gravity Girl and Element Boy. <laughs> Great names. <laughs> um, except Element Boy might turn out to be more than just a friend and Gravity Girl is battling demons of her own. Ethan will discover what it means to be a hero and must learn that even superheroes aren't untouchable. That sounds like a really interesting book and you don't get a lot of books that I've come across, especially that are trying to become popular books, that really deal with the kind of issues that people face like that. So then we have a bookmark and I hope this actually becomes something that they do in their boxes. It's really unique. You get a bookmark and on the back it says what volume it is. So this is book, uh, this is box one. So it's volume one and it says that hero nonsense. So it tells you what the theme is. And it's, I think it's a really good idea and that they should definitely keep having these specific bookmarks. Because, I mean, you've got their gaming boxes and they have, like, the little pins and stuff. I think that is a perfect kind of way to turn it into a book version. We have another bookmark, and that's for the Untouchable as well. And then we have this pin. I am not the chosen one. Um, yeah. <laughs> this goes with my Batman Funko Pop. I have a Batman USB. 
and it's a four gigabyte. That is pretty cool. Again, I can see how this relates to being a superhero. And then we have a pendant. Who in the world am I? Oh, that's the greatest puzzle. I really like this. It's really cute. I'm not much into too much jewelry. I only have like a few little pieces that I wear, you know, dedicatedly. But this is cute. It's really nicely well made too. I'll leave a link in the description down below so that you can go and check out the Etsy store that this is related to. I don't want to say it wrong, but I think it's a Lyson workshop. Regardless, I think you should check it out because this pendant really relates to the theme of the book. Overall, I think this is a really good box, a really good launch box. The issue of being a hero and all that in the world right now is huge, especially if you're going to look at all the Marvel kind of movie developments and everything else that's going to be coming out. So Heroes was a really good theme to choose for your first box, so well done for that. At the end of the video, I'll just leave a quick kind of rundown of what I estimate the cost for each of these to be so you can see in comparison the cost of the box against uh, what you actually get in the box otherwise I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing I'm really looking forward to the book and what they're going to do in the future so until I see you next time you guys take care of yourself and keep out <laughs>